And then when that happens, it's very conflicting on what we want to do for the day. We're starting to find more days where we're not interested in any of the reborns. I just spent all afternoon editing our spring break vlog. I use air quotes because it wasn't really a break. My goal this year is to heal in all the ways that I can and <laughs> It's one of those things where it's like I'm either trudging through mud or one step forward, ten back sort of situation. I'm going to get the twins dressed and ready for bed. Today I took apart Ariel and restuffed her and I put the weight instead of in the back of her head, I brought it forward so that when I pick her up, her head flops forward instead of backwards. And she just feels so much better to hold now. I was like not connecting with her very well. I'm gonna get her and Xander dressed. And I definitely needed some me time today. Granted, I didn't want to spend all of it editing the last vlog. That's what most of it's been. Let's get these cuties dressed for bed. still have hardly any clothes for this little guy. I just made a Timu order though and I've got a couple of things coming for him and a couple of things coming for Oakley. You know Desiree crocheted all that stuff. I still wanted like collared nice looking stuff for Oakley and then I found these really cute little loafers, these white leather loafers that I'm really excited for. Today has been one of those days where like so many of us wanted to front. I should say a lot of us were co-fronting. And then when that happens, it's very conflicting on what we want to do for the day. It's very conflicting on which reborn we want to hang out with. We're starting to find more days where we're not interested in any of the reborns. And we know there's like one altar that <laughs> doesn't care for any of the reborns, but it didn't feel like them. I keep thinking we know everybody in our system, but maybe we don't. We probably don't. And we probably never will know everybody. Whoever's been fronting lately, we tend to thrive off of alone time. And we've kind of gotten used to like almost every weekend, we get a lot of alone time. The kids do what they want, husband's at work, we're doing what we want. I'm starting to wonder now in this moment why I started a vlog. I'm not sure. <laughs> it is Friday night. No, it's Saturday night because hubby didn't work yesterday because it was still considered spring break. Hmm, that might be also why we feel off. It's Saturday night. I've been wanting to do some ASMR again too. Like I said, everybody's starting to get a little stir crazy up there. But honestly, right now, I want to pick a doll and read. I got to chapter four before the roads were too scary and it got too dark to read. So it'd honestly be nice to sit and read for a little bit, who do I want to hold while I read a book? Well, I decided to have little Michaela with me. I should maybe change her clothes. This is what she wore for the entire trip. But since she is the one that was with me on said trip and car and all that nonsense, makes sense to have her in my arms again. This is how I feel this morning. At least I got like eyebrows put on today. I've got Azula in here washing. We watched half of Way With The Water the other night and we haven't finished it yet. Um, that's okay. We'll eventually finish it. <laughs> I was gonna dye her body and I'm looking at the instructions and I'm like, I have to stir continually for 15 minutes and then occasionally for 45 minutes. That's worse than making dinner, man. Just to dye this tiny little cloth body. Crazy. 
And then Amelia, if you guys watched our talking to the spirits video, there is a spirit in this one. So I don't know what we're going to have to do because we want to make sure that he safely moves over. He chose the tiger eye heart that we're going to put in. And yeah, I bought this new body because this one's just way too long. It makes her look really unproportioned. So this will be so much better. And I'm hoping that maybe today I can start stripping the paint. And I do plan on rooting hair, so that's going to be really exciting. Passing the time away with a cup of decaf, and um, that wasn't quite a full cup. I think we've decided that we definitely need to replace our coffee maker. We want to get one that does cups as well as the pot, I think is what we've decided. Hubby's especially frustrated trying to get coffee to go to work every morning, and it's not delivering the coffee. This is a bust. We have blue strings, but it completely rinsed out of the suede body. They call it doe suede body. Ugh. I'll have to try to do something else, I guess. I don't know. Extremely discouraged. Here's a before and after of my current project with Amelia. I completely forgot to vlog stripping her paint. I remember I was going to start vlogging and then I got busy talking to the kids. Bye! to six hours has gone by. I had Amelia completely stripped. She already is almost done. I'm just doing some skin layers, um, maybe some more blushing and details as well as nail details, and then she's ready for a top coat. This vinyl is really kind of hard, but I'm hoping with some like rice packs or something, heat packs, that it will soften and I'll be able to root her hair okay because I'm especially excited to have a nice full head of hair because honestly she's pretty alien looking. She needs some hair. Morning. I'm exhausted. My son ended up getting uh, sick yesterday afternoon and I had to do laundry. I was up late getting that taken care of. Up late <laughs> finishing her. She's not 100% finished. This morning I have given her eyebrows and I'm letting them sit there for a minute to decide if I like them or not. Then I was awake at five o'clock this morning, just awake. So I was trying to listen to some ASMR to help me to go back to sleep for a little bit mostly worked mm. so exhausted trying to get my day started
on, scoot over. Let me put this toast right here. Scoot, scoot. There's some cold water. Oh, Easter Sunday was yesterday and my hubby ran to the store before work and bought us all a little something. Me, these, I actually love these peeps. They're like one of the best flavors. And then this really adorable floppy bunny. Uh, this is a bow off of my daughter's basket and I popped it on there and it's like super cute. Double bow time. <laughs> so when I woke up at five this morning, I about went back to bed and I was like, I'm kind of stiff and achy. I think I'm going to take a painkiller. I'm so glad that I did because then when I took my vitamins this morning, I'm like, I'm going to take a second painkiller because I'm just still feeling that achy. All of that painting yesterday. Oh my God. <laughs> getting eyelashes and it's time to show how these look right now. <laughs> I did not curl them last time so I'm hoping to get a little curl this time because I really want her to kind of be very doll-like. I don't know how to explain that but just very pretty. All right so these lashes are done. I have made them all wispy. These are still very blunt, but beautiful, thick auburn lashes. So to do these lashes, I'm just gonna cut straight into them like this. And it'll create a bunch of different lengths that'll create a wispy effect like these ones. That looks a lot more natural. Now just imagine that she's done. <laughs> At this point, she really could be done. Do I want to put all this hair on this bald, funky head? <laughs> this lash has turned out gorgeous, though. And yeah, that body is a lot better. So, this is exciting. Amelia lost two inches with this body. She was 19 inches, now she's 17. And she's fitting in all of these preemie clothes that Desiree sent us. That's like having a whole new baby haul right here. Let's try something else on her. This is so cute. Oh, so cute. Oh my gosh, she fits in these. She's only like an inch longer than Jack. As I was saying, he's 16. He's 16. Hold on. So I had to measure him again. He's only like an inch and a quarter shorter than her now. So like they were, they're wearing the same size clothes. This is crazy. I love how tiny she is. And honestly, with how tiny she is, I'm like a little hesitant to get Azula painted so quickly because she was the reason to wear all of these fun clothes right here. But now that she's downsized, she can fit in them now so this is really exciting she came in this outfit she didn't come in this outfit but she came with this outfit and now it's got all this extra i mean she can still wear it but it's definitely big on her oh i love this so i went through i have two micro preemies um four preemies well i will have four preemies these ones are not painted yet so two girls two boys preemie newborn used to be her We've got Brody, Brinley, and Stevie, newborn Aurora and Oakley. I thought I had more newborns than this. These are the three-month-old and then older. Crazy! The last outfit I'm going to put and keep on her now will be this cute little thing. Oh, look how cute. Look how cute. Oh, my God. I can't wait for her to have her hair in. This is actually going to be kind of torturous. She was officially my third baby that I, baby doll that I ever got as an adult. Anyway, I'm very, very, very anxious for her to get her hair in. Why do I do this to myself? Okay, I can't help myself. I think I'm gonna put the weight back in her head and just attach her head. I can't help it, okay? But I think in the meantime, I could totally root hair with her head attached, no problem. Because I can't help myself in wanting to pick her up and dress her and all that. So I'm like, let's just put her head on. Let's do it. 
she's gonna be born and then as i root her hair it's because she's growing hair right so that's how it works what time is it 3 19 her new birthday happy birthday amelia j on april 10th at 3 19 p.m why didn't i wait till 3 20 that's okay happy happy birthday <laughs> to you It's so warm right now. I had to open a window, a nice cool breeze coming in. I think I'm done for the day. So I just wanted to end this vlog by showing that I did give in and started giving Amelia some hair. <laughs> there she is. It's actually like the most perfect color for her. It's a very light auburn color and she's gonna be just so darling when she's done i love the pink on her so freaking cute <sighs> so hopefully i can get her hair rooted quickly i really didn't plan on doing this project right now all i told myself was as soon as there was a day that was warm enough that I could take her paint off and have good ventilation with outdoor air that I would do that. And so the first really good day, I did that. And here we are, rooting hair on her already. Super crazy. She's gonna be gorgeous, so that'll be in another vlog, hopefully really soon. Well, this is a bust. We have blue strings, but it completely rinsed out of the suede body. I call it doe suede body. Ugh. I'll have to try and do something else, I guess. I don't know. Extremely discouraged.